Proverbs 27.1 Do not boast about tomorrow, for you do not know what a day may bring. Welcome my beauties. So today's tutorial is a vibrant summer look and this look guys is all that okay all that i really love how i uh, created this look the colors all blended out seamlessly it is a first impression look using juvia's place magic palette i got this palette about three weeks now and I decided to film this look because I wanted to film my Urban Decay Heat tutorial. However, I'm not going to keep you guys long. So let me jump into the tutorial. First impression video that will be listed on my channel as well. So if you guys notice, my brows have been on fleek, okay guys? On um, fleek. Fleek. Did I say that? Fleek. Anyway, I decided on doing my brows another way that I felt would work better for me. Um, remember, I started YouTube. I did not have any makeup tips. I learned everything off of YouTube. And so I hope you appreciate how far I have come. So I took a brow pencil from the local beauty shop and defined my brows. And for filling in my brows, I use Benefit Cut Brow number 5, which is my holy grail now. I also did prime my brow with Becca Ever Matte Polis Primer because I noticed that I crease up in my brows. Or should I say, my brows are oily. Instead of saying I crease up, my brows are oily. And so... I always um, want to set them nowadays before uh, cleaning them. So the brow gel that I use today is from My Cosmetics. It is also my holy grail. It is the clear brow gel. To define my brows, I use underneath my brow NC45 from My Cosmetics. To clean on the top of my brows, I use the Balm Cosmetics Concealer in Medium. And with that said, that completes my brows for this tutorial. I will also add that if you did want to see how I created this brow in total and you would like to get a brow tutorial, leave your comment down below so that I can film a tutorial showing you guys how I do my brows back to my tutorial so I'm going in that palette and the first shade that I'm going to use as a crease shade is Nana which is a burnt orange uh, matte shade but before I put down that shade we always want to prime our eyelids okay making sure that um, the shadow sticks and also that um, the shadows are amplified so I'm just taking a taper blending brush, which is my MAC 242 brush. And I'm blending it directly in my crease, lightly. Um, because the shades are so pigmented, I dipped into the palette, took the shade Effie and also Yejedi. And I'm just blending it in my Auto V, first uh, in a circle. Blend the shadow out and then blend it inwards. So I'm just blending it out and blending it inwards. So you see, guys, how effortless the uh, shadows are blending in. I'm not going through any struggles. You know the reason why? Because these shadows are buttery, they blend so effortlessly. Perfect, perfect, perfect shades. Perfect formula. Pigmentation is unexplainable. I just love, 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 love the shades. Oh my gosh. 
I can't wait to do another tutorial with this palette. So I took the brush from my Urban Decay Heat Palette. Just want to know how well these brushes work. And so I used both ends of that palette. By the way, I have a tutorial up. Um, I'm going to have a tutorial up for the Urban Decay Heat Palette. I've already done a tutorial a week ago. I just have to get to it and have it edited and then upload it for you beautiful people. So yes, I went in my crease area, blending the shades again. I'm just re repeating um, the steps. Just making sure that the shades are all coordinated. That there are no harsh lines. You want to make sure you blend all those shades. You don't want to take a selfie and on there you see that your shadows are packed in one area. Now I'm taking my MAC paint pot in laying low i'm not doing a cut crease but when i want for my shadows to be defined just on my lower laid i use a paint pot to define my laid and so that's what i'm gonna do in this tutorial i think when i do it does bring up the look perfectly i dampened my flat brush with some fix plus and I am taking the shade Faso, which is a beautiful pink, kind of like a bluish pink shade. And I am just applying it to my half cut crease. I think it's safe to say half cut crease. Um, so I'm just applying that to my half cut crease on both sides of the laid. And I'm going to make sure that those shadows pop, okay? So I'm going to go with a second application. And then I'm going to move on Bozo, which is a mint green shade. Very summer and spring appropriate. And I'm in love with that shadow. And what I'm going to do is blend it in the shade Fossil. And also blend it in the shade Effie and Yejiri. So I'm going to blend it inwards and I'm going to blend it out outwards. And also making sure that I'm blending it below my crease and directly below my crease. I do not want to shadow above my crease line. That was the main purpose of me cutting my crease and doing a half cut crease. So now as you see me, I'm blending it in there. Making sure that I'm satisfied with how I'm connecting the... Uh, colors okay so can we just take a moment here for that blendation the blending situation called the blendation see how the shadows are popping very very wonderful i'm just loving the look as it comes along so i took my blending brush again and i just dab it in the same two shades that I use in my auto V and I'm blending it outwards because I'm looking for some smokiness in my auto V so I'm blending those shades outwards okay and once I'm satisfied with that blendation I'm going to blend it a little bit inwards you feel me okay so let's move on oh, whoo. makeup obsession now it's time to focus on my lower lash line. Oh my gosh. And so I'm just taking the blending brush, taking the remaining part of the blending brush and blending it on my lower lash line or below my lower lash line, I should say. And I'm just smoking that area, smoking, smoking, smoking. So on my real technique, small shader brush, I'm going to take Maybelline New York eye studio gel and i am going to tack it on my waterline i'm going to tack in my waterline and i'm just leaving uh, my inner tear the half because i'm going to put some shades in there so now i'm applying that studio gel to my lash line and i'm just making sure that i contour my inner lash line as well 
so that I can look like a Barbie, okay? Because I'm extra special. What do you think? I'm extra special. So, there we go. Okay, so uh, back to the tutorial. My son says, she said, tutorial. And I said, tutorial. Oh, African mom. Pronunciation differs, okay? Pronunciation differs. Anyway, so, um, yes, I'm just lining my lash line there and prepping that area for the false eyelashes as well. And I'm using some false eyelashes from Vegas Nay, and that's the Glam, Glam, whatever. I'm going to have it listed down below. I'm sorry. Um, Glam Glamour, yes. I will, I will have that information down below though, but the lash, lashes I'm using today is Vegas Nay Glam Glamour. So you see I'm contouring that lash line. And then I'm going to go into my Magic Palette, but before I do that, let me do a little geek for you guys, okay? I have to have fun when I'm doing my makeup. Now to finish up the look, I got off camera. After, after all, my camera did actually overheat. And so I decided to just put my lashes on off camera. And then I put in my Tear Dad Nubia, that gold shade. And I also did uh, take the shade Koji. Um, it looks like a strawberry pink shade. And I decided to um, give my crease or above my crease a little bit more of color my brows are now on point so i'm going to my brow bone to highlight it and i decided to go in with this gray shade um which is yemoja yemoja i believe it's a nigerian name yes and so now that i'm done i'm just highlighting my brow bone and then i move on to my face now that I feel comfortable with the shades blended out well, I'm taking my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and coating my lashes. And then I'm moving on to the foundation. I use Sephora 10 Hour Wear Foundation and my MAC Cosmetics Studio Fix Foundation on a Morphe M444 brush which I have been dying for. But I did sign up for their monthly brush subscription. So for honor eye concealer, I'm using Elegant Pro Concealer in Creamy Beige. And I'm highlighting my forehead under my eye, um, over my cupid's bowl, down the bridge of my nose. I went and blended that out with an e.l.f. brush. And then I'm setting my honor eye with Laura Mercier translucent powder. For contouring my cheekbone, I'm using the Black Radiance Contour Palette. I'm using the darkest shade in there. This is just perfect for me. I'm using the shade Medium. And then to set my entire face, I'm using... Um, my cosmetics mineral skin finish in dark tan and i also did set the bridge of my nose with that black radiance contour palette as well so for my highlight of course you see on there is um, my nico guerrero highlighting palette and usually when I'm done um, using my highlighter, I just stick the same powder brush and go over my entire face because I'm looking for a seamless look. And the lip pencil that I'm wearing today is Magenta from MAC Cosmetics. The lipstick is Found the One from Libu Cosmetics. And the blush I'm wearing is from MAC Cosmetics, and that's Blush Baby. And that does it for a look.